Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Domin. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at CSS combinators. Okay, so um, CSS combinators are going to describe a relationship between two selectors. Okay, so um, you may have seen them before. Uh, they're quite common and they allow for uh, pretty complex um, CSS rules. Okay, so um, there are four in total and we're going to be covering each one of these four in today's video. So we have first up the descendant combinator which is simply just a space. We have the child combinator, which is a greater than a sign. We have the general sibling combinator, which is a tilde sign. And lastly, we have the adjacent sibling combinator, which is a plus sign. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at each one of these four combinators in today's video. And we're going to be using this HTML list right here um, to demonstrate each one of these combinators. Okay, so let's go inside the text editor right here and begin with the descendant combinator. Combinator. Okay, so uh, just a heads up, I've set the color of each one of these list item elements to be black by default. So that way we can easily see um, the difference in the selections um, without the inheritance from the parent, uh, you know, taking over. But uh, that's not too much to worry about. Let's just go down here and take a look at the descendant combinator. Okay, so uh, the first one here, the descendant combinator, is going to allow you to select uh, essentially elements that are within another element. Okay, so for example, if I was to say right here, uh, hash for combinator list, so of course targeting the ID right here um, of this list item element, okay, then I say ally, just like this, this is going to select every single list item element. Uh, that is within um, the combinator list. Okay, so uh, this is regardless of their actual position. So in this case right here, these allies are going to be selected. So let's set a color here to be red. So now if I was to uh, save this and refresh, we can see here um, we only get the list items, um, you know, uh, you know, being changed to color red that are within um, our list item. Okay, so back inside here again, we can see every single list item element that is within this one right here is going to be selected. And of course, like I said earlier, um, the fact that they are also within this UL doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter where they are, as long as they are within this item right here, they're going to be selected. Okay, so that is the descendant combinator, simply just a space. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the child combinator. Okay, so for the child combinator, um, that is going to uh, select every single direct child of an element. Okay, so um, for example, if I was to say here uh, dot t summary, then I say ally, this will select every single, if I put a greater than sign just like that, um, this is going to select every single list item element that is a direct child of t summary. In this case, we should only see these two right here um, with their changed color. Okay, so with that being said, let's save this and refresh and we can see now we only get these two list items uh, changed to be red because of course they are direct children of the T summary using the child combinator. Okay, so as we can see, these allies do not get touched because they are not direct children of the T summary right here. So that is the child combinator. So moving on to the general sibling combinator, um, we're going to be using uh, the actual ID here of coffee. So let's grab the coffee ID. Then we're going to say right here using the tilde character, um, then selecting ally. So in this case right here, uh, the general sibling combinator is going to select every single children or sorry, uh, every single child element um, that is after our coffee. Um, my mistake, sorry, um, it's going to select every single sibling. So uh, in this case right here, we are starting with coffee. So coffee right here, uh, this tilde is going to select every single ally which comes after it. So essentially these two right here. So if I was to save this and refresh, we can see how we get those two selected right there, but not even the child combinator itself. Okay, so 
only the allies which appear after the coffee right here. So these two are going to be selected. Now, these also need to be uh, children of the same parent. Okay, so basically they need to be siblings. If I was to make a new ally down here and say, hey, decode, for example, save this and refresh, we can see that um, it is not red because, of course, uh, this, this ally, even though it comes technically after this one in the actual HTML, um, of course, it does not belong to the same parent, so it is not going to be selected. So that is the general sibling combinator. And the very last one here is going to be the adjacent sibling combinator. And for this one, it's very straightforward. It's going to be the exact same example, but we're going to be using a plus instead. And this one right here is going to select the first child after, sorry, the first sibling after the coffee. So in this case right here, we start at coffee and we're going to select the first sibling right here. Um, of course, that is the same uh, that has the same parent as our coffee, in this case, this one right here. So now, saving this and refreshing, we can see now only one of those uh, list item elements gets selected. So um, that is the adjacent sibling combinator. Okay, so that right there is uh, CSS combinators. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.